Hello YouTubers, so this is a video on how to wire up an older Valkov v 10 20C speaker. This particular one's from March of 1986. The board is significantly different from the modern ones that we're used to seeing, but... But don't worry, this is pretty straightforward to the modern ones. It's obviously a different board, but it still works the same. What you will need is some sort of auxiliary connector, audio connector, such as this. A 3.5 mil cable. And what you want to do is chop the other end of it off and expose these wires. Now this particular one has two, two exposed copper wires. You want to take, at least on this one, you want to take the two bare wires and twist them together. And then the red and the white, you also want to twist them together as a separate pair. That's what this cable. Here's another one here. A more common type of 3.5 mil auxiliary cable here. This is pretty typical. You have your exposed bare copper wire there. And these other two. These other two wires, which is your left, your right and left channels. You want to take these two, twist them together. And obviously, this one too. Now, some of them, if you buy them off of Amazon, some will actually have a green wire in addition to a red and a white. Don't worry, that green wire is just your ground. That is what this copper wire is, it's ground. Now, if you happen to chop a cable, a 3.5 mil cable apart, and you get this. This is crappy wire. Take this and throw it in the garbage. It's no good. No good for this application. Now for my power source here, I just have a variable bench power supply going here. I set it to 24 volts DC, gave it about 250 milliamps. Cause these don't really take that much power. These take about maybe 40 milliamps if you have them. Just a single speaker up driven, driven kind of at mid range. So I'll put this here. Now, ideally, you want to get a proper power supply like this, which, if I don't know if you can see it, there's a model. Now, I actually have another one of these driving my current Valkov speakers. This works great. And this is specifically designed for these, so put that off to the side. So, here we go. Let's wire this bad boy together. Let's start with my audio. So... You have your 3.5 mil cable. I'm going to set this as my tip. We'll give it yellow. And ground, we'll give it white. That will be my ring. And don't mind these alligator cable, alligator clip bleeds. It's just temporary. And on this particular one here, you have... This is your tip terminal here, and this one is your ring. We're going to take this yellow wire, land it on here, on the tip. Well, it's hard to clip these in, but there we go, there's that. And here's your ring, your ground. Spite it out like that. Now the power side. We gotta get the power connected. And, uh, put these two cables off this side because I don't need it for this situation. So, here is my leads coming from my bench power supply here. Now, Valcom is a little confusing to figure out the power situation. I don't know why they did it like that, but I want to clear that confusion up here for those of you that or decided to get into this kind of stuff. So this terminal here, it's kind of hard to probably for you guys to tell, but this is minus 24 volts. And this one is your G and D. The minus 24 volts is gonna be your negative, so I'm gonna land my negative lead, alligator clip lead for my power supply straight to this terminal. And G and D, what you may think is ground, but really it's your positive from your power source. 
and I'll land it there like that. We'll put this back down. Make sure my wires, you know, are not shorting out, which sure they're not. And here's your 3.5L cable that I have connected. I'm just going to plug it into my music source, which happens to just be a laptop. So now, I'm going to turn on this power supply. There's my power supply. And there we go, my, the speaker just kicked in. There's usually a delay on these. Sometimes, they, sometimes you can hear a little pop come out, and then it makes a hiss sound. So there you go, there, we got hiss, that's a good sign. Turn it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna click play on my computer here. Now that crackle you heard, that's just a dirty volume control. So this is an older one. See, this one, this particular one has a dirty volume control. Which I'm glad it happened before though, before you guys start saying, why is your speaker acting up? This is normal. This is just due to a dirty volume control. If you kind of rock it back and forth like that, it could clear up the gunk. There's the amount of current that's drawing with the volume low. quite loud at the max these should draw about 50 milliamps in case any of you are concerned about the current the power draw from these so yeah that is how you wire up an older Valcom V1020C self-amplified speaker here's your wire right here that you would want to use it could be either just basic four conductor telephone cable or you could use the cat5 cable which you could pick up real easily at your local home depot or lowe's i don't if you're going to use go with the cat5 route you really need only need to use two pairs so you don't have to use all eight of them for this because this is a four wire device i'm just going basic with this because that's what i have and i don't have to waste cat5 wire in the process